It is wild that I didn't say more about the footprints. So the best tracks we have are actually not contemporary with the body fossils of Dilophosaurus. We have the St. George track site, which is in southwestern Utah, which is older than the skeletons we find at Kayenta. Then younger than that, in northeastern Utah, we have the Navajo sandstone tracks, which is where the photo I showed came from. So the responsible way to talk about these is to say, we, we have tracks from an animal the size of and very similar to Dilophosaurus, though not exactly contemporary, but in, this, in roughly the same time and place. But the aforementioned St. George track site has this beautiful trackway, which shows a Dilophosaurus-like animal walking along a lake shore and then sitting down. And when it sits down, it has its legs folded under its body and we get um, prints from the hands and arms, prints from the feet, and prints from the, uh, from the ischium. So we have direct ichnological evidence of it sitting parasagitally, of it sitting with its hands facing one another. You know, we, we have corroborating evidence of the way we articulate the bones, which is pretty cool.